Hi, Lake County. My name is Hannah Gehring, and I am the Communications Manager for the Lake County Health Department. Thanks for joining us for this week's installment of your top 10 questions about COVID-19, and I'll let my guest uh, introduce herself. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Sana Ahmed. I am the Medical Epidemiologist here at Lake County Health Department. I'm glad to join you this afternoon. All right, let's get started on our first question. So the health department has shared that most people with COVID-19 will have mild symptoms and can recover at home. How would you define mild symptoms of COVID-19? So mild symptoms of COVID-19 include sore throat, runny nose, nasal congestion, fatigue, headache, muscle, and body aches. Now, based off of what I just said, it can be difficult to distinguish between flu, and other common cold viruses. So if you are experiencing mild symptoms, stay home for at least seven days and keep your distance from family members in your household. Stay home until you feel better and have no fever for at least three days. But if your symptoms are worsening, call your doctor. Now, if you recover from COVID-19, can you catch the virus again? So we are still learning a lot about this new virus may be possible to catch it again, and scientists are researching this now to look at how the body mounts an immune response by producing antibodies to fight off the virus. Those that are probably at highest risk for catching it again would be individuals with weakened immune systems whose bodies may not be able to mount a defense against the virus. How many people in Lake County with COVID-19 have recovered? So we don't have that information at this time, Right now, our primary focus has been preventing the spread of this virus in our community, and all of our resources are dedicated to finding those positive cases and making sure that these individuals who are infected have appropriately isolated at home. Recovery is not something necessarily easy to track, and we're working with our partners to figure out the best way to do so. What percentage of COVID-19 cases in Lake County have been hospitalized? So we are working on compiling that data locally, but looking at our first 257 cases in Lake County, about 37% were hospitalized and 63% were not admitted to the hospital. Now keep in mind in Illinois, testing is prioritized for people who are hospitalized and for high risk population. So a lot of people with mild symptoms are not being tested and are recovering at home. CDC published data recently looking at cases identified between February 12th and March 16th across the country. And of the 4,226 cases that they had reported to them across the United States, 12% um, were hospitalized. But what is really important to understand is that when the data is broken down by age, people age 65 and older, the hospitalization rate was about 45%, with the most severe outcomes in people 85 years and older. What should I do if someone isn't following the stay-at-home order and is not practicing social distancing? So this is a good question. If it's a family member, close friend, if it's your workplace or religious organization, speak to them and help educate them on the importance of working together as a community to prevent the spread of COVID-19. However, if there is a concern that a large social gathering is being organized or businesses are violating the governor's order, you can contact law enforcement or the health department so we can work together with this organization. So what's the best way to disinfect items like bags, mail, and groceries? Um, So for soft, porous surfaces like cloth bags, clothes, They can be laundered in accordance to their manufacturer's instructions at the appropriate temperature, um, the warmest that they can tolerate, and then dry them completely. For paper mail, I would say discard the outer envelope for packaging, review the mail, then wash your hands with alcohol-based hand rub or with soap and water. And then for non-porous surfaces like jars or plastic containers, you can use common household disinfection wipes to wipe them down. Um, If they're in a outer cardboard box, you can discard the outer box and keep the inner bag. And then lastly, for fruits and vegetables that are store-brought, you know, make sure that you thoroughly wash them, dry them, and store them. Does the seasonal flu shot or pneumonia shot offer any protection against COVID-19 or increase somebody's chances of having a less severe illness or surviving it? 
So I'm not aware of any data that looks at the effectiveness of flu or pneumonia shot against this novel coronavirus. The flu vaccine is developed with components of specific strains of flu that are circulating within the community. It is different from the coronaviruses like the SARS-CoV-2. So a vaccine that is directed specifically against SARS-CoV-2 needs to be developed in order to help protect against COVID-19. How many flu cases are there compared to COVID-19 cases in Lane County? So in the state of Illinois, influenza is not a reportable disease, so we don't have an exact count of flu cases. The CDC estimates that there have been at least 39 million flu illnesses and 24,000 deaths from flu in the United States. So far with the COVID-19 pandemic, the CDC reports more than 230,000 cases of COVID-19 and more than 5,400 deaths in the country. Now that it's April, we expect to see flu illnesses decline, but cases of COVID-19 will likely climb. Where do the Lake County residents who have COVID-19 live? So we have a map on our website that shows cases in Lake County by municipality so that the public can see where cases live. We don't provide details like addresses of individuals with COVID-19 or details of where they're being treated to the public because that information doesn't help protect you and gives a person a false sense of security or even provokes fear. Knowing this information isn't going to help you protect yourself because there are so many people in our county who have not been able to get tested and are undiagnosed but are isolating themselves at home. What is the hospital capacity for beds and ventilators in Lake County? So many of our hospitals have been increasing their capacity in response to COVID-19. As of April 3rd, Lake County has 79 ICU beds and 617 medical and surgical beds. This number changes and grows each day as our hospital and staff work diligently to respond to this pandemic. As for ventilators, our hospital partners are tracking that and working to increase their capacity. Well, thank you so much, Sana, for joining us and for answering all of these questions and bringing your expertise to the table. And thank you for all the hard work that you and your team are doing to help identify cases in Lake County and to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Residents, if you have additional questions you'd like us to answer, please email COVID-19 at lakecountyil.gov and we'll try to get those questions answered in the next week. Thanks and take care.